If you need a bit of discipline to help you with your time management, then look no further than the chain method. Reportedly, it was developed by web developer and stand-up comedian Brad Isaac and reported to Jerry Seinfeld. So in this video, we'll look at what that method is and how it works. The chain method is ideal if you want to motivate yourself to keep on with a long ongoing task or to keep working on a repeated task or to build a new habit or work towards a goal. It's all about discipline. And Jerry Seinfeld claims that he used it to keep him working on developing new comedy material. Like all the best time management techniques, the chain method is astonishingly simple, yet very powerful. It needs no technology, although, as you'd guess, there is an app for it. It just needs a calendar, which can be something you've drawn on the wall. The principle is simple. You've got to do something each day, and each day you do it, you put a big X on your calendar, and the rule is you don't break the chain. If you're getting towards the end of the day and that X isn't there, then you need to feel the pressure to do it because the chain is everything. The goal is the chain. If you keep the chain unbroken, you will meet your end goal and you will succeed. Consequently, the chain method works because it creates a fear of letting yourself down because most of us are deep down completionists. And if we worry that we're not going to do something completely, then we feel we've let ourselves down. And the longer you go without breaking the chain, the greater the emotional penalty for breaking it, and therefore the stronger the motivation to keep going. It also works because there is a very tactile physiological reward in marking off that X because you're crossing off another day in which you've succeeded. Which, to my mind, suggests that the app is not going to be anywhere near as good as just a physical calendar that you can draw X's on. And of course, in the long term, the technique works because if you create a long enough chain, you build a habit in yourself that just becomes wired into the way you do things. You no longer need the calendar, although you may find yourself emotionally addicted to creating those X's, but actually your body is wired and your mind is wired to doing that thing every day. And we know that when you create a new habit, you change your whole life. So to create your chain of success, you need to start off by thinking about what is the goal you want to achieve. You can work on multiple goals. I would suggest each one has its own calendar, but not too many because fundamentally, you really want to just focus in on one or a very small number of goals. Next, decide the criteria for success for marking that X. How much work do you want to achieve? How much work do you want to do? How much time do you want to put in? What do you want to achieve on each day? Next, draw up your calendar or buy one and put it up in a prominent place where you can't miss it on the wall in front of your desk, even by your bed if it's important enough to you. Many people put them on the fridge in the kitchen. Next, on each day when you complete the task, draw a big red X on that day in the calendar. Get yourself a big marker pen if you can, something that creates a very satisfying experience for drawing that X. And then keep going. Don't break the chain. But what if you do? Well, if you miss a day because you were lazy, because you didn't do it, then you're going to have to put up with the mental opprobrium, but get back on the chain as quickly as you can. Otherwise, you'll create a chain of empty days and that will become your new habit. But if you had to break the chain for reasons entirely outside of your control, perhaps you were on a family holiday 
or you were sick, then allow yourself perhaps a small blue X to maintain the chain, but recognize that you didn't achieve anything. For me, the chain method works best when you want to create a new habit. For example, when you're going to get into the habit of exercising or studying. It's a great way of creating that discipline and therefore it's a powerful add on to other time management approaches. Please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. There's loads more great management courses content to come. So please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.